Welcome back to England. Anything to declare, sir? Yes. That's an agent of scum named Skullcap. Flash, uh! it's young born. A seen me. <laughs> Mind if I borrow it? I've never missed a plane in my life, and I'm not about to spoil that record. Pleasant so far, Skullcap. Huh? You should keep your seatbelt fastened until the light goes out. Ah! Ah! Hey! Ah! I've never flown one of these before. In fact, I've never flown anything before. This makes it go up. Makes it go down. Oh, boy, this must be what Skullcap thinks is so important. I hate to fight the run, but. Mr. Anderson, Mr. Barishnov, Mr. Bermudez, Mr. Bond. James Bond Jr. Shooting onto school grounds, indeed. What possible explanation can you have for this? Well, sir, uh, Mr. Mitchell hates it when we're late for soccer practice. I am not amused. Being here at Warfield is a privilege. I will not have you endangering yourself. That's the reason the class trip to Paris has been cancelled. Cancelled? But why? We've received a report that terrorists have smuggled a nuclear warhead into France. And it's better if we stayed away. A nuclear warhead? Then that could be... Could be what, Mr. Bond? N nothing, sir. Will that be all? <clears throat> oh! I say! Look out! Clumsy! Sorry, Trevor. Well, just watch where you're going, stupid. Oof! <clears throat> Moose! Uh, I I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean you, stupid. I mean, I didn't mean you were stupid. I mean, uh, Moose! No! Oh. I hope Daddy wasn't too rough on you, James. No more than usual, Tracy. But I did learn something interesting. And I believe it could have something to do with those plans I took from Skullcap. Plans? So that's what these are! Exactly, Gordo. Plans for the Achilles missile, to be precise. Do you think Scum plans to build this missile? I think they already have. And they've taken it to Paris. And we're stuck here. And I'll bet they're going to launch that nuclear warhead with it. Oh, goodness, James. You're so masterful with that punching bag. It just knocks me out. Oh. Sorry, Phoebe. I'm afraid I didn't see you. I'm afraid you never do. 
I can't just stand by knowing that scum is about to start something. Well, there's not much you can do about it, James. Mr. Milbanks has already canceled your plane reservations to Paris. Isn't there anything you can do, Mr. Mitchell? I've got to stop them. I fear! Yeah, James! Well, I wish I could, James, but Milbanks would have my job if I let you go. Of course, if you had a digital lock analyzer, I, uh, <laughs> happen to know that the front gate security guard goes for coffee about three in the morning. Thanks for the advice, Mr. Mitchell. IQ, I'm sure I can whip something up. <laughs> He's gone. Hurry, IQ. Great genius cannot be rushed. Bongo! So far, so good. Um, oops, watch it. Shh! Phoebe, what are you doing here? I'm coming with you. Sorry, Phoebe. This one's far too dangerous. Fine. If you already have your tickets to Paris. If not, you may need the help of my wealthy and generous father. Well, if you put it that way... Oh, goody! Paris is so romantic! I wouldn't know. I'm afraid I'm temporarily banned from the airport, so we'll have to go by hovercraft. <laughs> Bonjour, Mamsef. My name is Bond. James Bond. Bonjour. My name is Marcy Bocour. I hope you do not mind my sketching you. Not at all. It makes me wish I were an artist so I could keep looking at you. Oh, and I thought Frenchmen were flatterers. <laughs> Actually, this is my first visit to France. Oh, I know every inch of Paris. I would be happy to guide you. No, I would be happy. Would you pardon me for a moment, s'il vous plaît? This is Marcy, 007's nephew is on board, and I am sure he is looking for the warhead. Since none of us knows Paris that well, I thought it might be useful to have a guide. She's going to be our guide? We don't know a thing about her. That's exactly why my feminine intuition tells me not to trust her. Intuition? Really, Phoebe, be scientific. Bye, bye, young Bond! <laughs> The bridge is gone. We're out of control.
Leave it alone, you idiot! Ah, Paris at last. Ah, Paris. City of romance. Don't you agree, James? James. I'm sure he finds everything here romantic. I rather enjoy these expressionist paintings, don't you? Oh, oui. They are so, how you say, expressive. Perhaps we could discuss art further on a dinner cruise on the Seine. Oh, James, I would love that. James, we have work to do, remember? The Achilles missile requires a gantry for its launch. Uh, I suggest we search for a gantry. I see cathedrals and skyscrapers, but no gantry anywhere. What is this gantry you are looking for, eh? A large structure of steel girders. I don't see anything that looks like that. James, we ought to be looking for the gantry. Marcy and I will locate other places to search this evening. And that's another thing. Dinner with this Marcy. I don't trust her. I can't quite put my finger on why. How about putting your finger on this bow tie? Here. Let me. I agree with Tracy, James. But if you still insist on seeing this Marcy, I've prepared a few devices that might be of use, just in case she's not what she seems. An innocent-looking loaf of French bread, which becomes a sword. A bit sharp for my taste. What else do you have? This beret is actually a landmine. You activate it by... by, by pulling its pom-pom! <laughs> Ah, that would blow my mind. Anything else? Just these watches. Yours puts out a homing signal. Mine can track it. Now that's useful. What does this button do? <laughs> I forgot to mention the acetylene torch. You can set it on a timer, too. That should come in handy if dinner arrives cold. James, don't go. Do some sightseeing, and don't worry. I'll meet you at the Opera House at midnight. Wow, Marcy, you look terrific. Why, merci, James. Pardon, monsieur, would you care for anything else? Just some privacy, thank you. What'd you learn, Dr. Derange? Nothing blasted, except that the chips in this joint are terrible. As for young Burned, we must not take any chances. Now, James, what would you like to talk about? About who you really are. This morning, you mistook an Impressionist painting for an Expressionist. No real art student would make that error. But I thought you... Uh... And this sketch of me is in ink, but all you had was a pencil. So you must have brought it to identify me with. Tell me, Marcy. What are you really after? It does not matter, young Bond. In a moment, no one will be able to identify you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have this burning thirst. Do not clear away yet, monsieur. That was just the appetizer. And now for dessert, you will taste the feet. Oh! And this is how you get your kicks. We French call it servat, fighting with the feet. Papa taught me. Let me guess. Papa's with the French police. Uh, we. I am trying to help him find that warhead. Interesting coincidence. We're looking for it as well. I know. My papa got word from uh, Mr. Mitchell this morning. That is why I was on the hovercraft. There they are, by the left bank. Quickly, I not only know the streets of Paris, I also know the sewers. A 
scientific genius and quite insane. He wants scum to rule the world. Uh, to stop such madmen is why I wish to be a secret agent. I thought if I help Papa solve this case... Oh, no! We have lost them! Oh, James, I am so sorry. Some spy I will become. Maybe I should just stick to showing tourists the Eiffel Tower. That's it! The Eiffel Tower! The perfect gantry for the missile! Marcy, do you know which sewer leads to it? But of course! Follow me! Midnight and no sign of James. We better find a gendarme. Hey, never mind that. Let's call a cop. I'll explain later. James, you! Ha! I did not need those plans to skullcap lust. I have honored the warhead myself. He really is a mad scientist. He even talks to himself. I shall raise this missile into the Eiffel Tower and fire it at Moscow. France will be blamed, and the perestroika will go up in a cloud of nuclear smoke. Let's go. We've seen enough. You say too much. Look who I've got! Young Bond, again? Sorry, I just can't seem to stay away. Always with us a snappy retort, eh, Bond? Skullcap! Send them to the missile. We will see how amusing Moscow finds you. If they find anything... <laughs> hey, what you doing? Just selling my watch to Moscow time, old boy. You want to know what time it is when you blow up? <laughs> Don't worry. By now, IQ has the police tracking us. You see? Homing device. Home-ing! Oh, IQ, they don't understand. Doesn't anyone remember anything from French class? I think the word for bad dude is volure. See, we're after volures. Uh, we follow this, you arrest volures, okay? Uh, right, my man. I mean, we. See, they understand. Huh? Hey, what's going down? Congratulations, Gordo. I think we've just confessed to stealing watches. It is done. 60 seconds to launch. 59, 58. This is good. This I love. Disconnecting the guidance system. I hope. No! This elevator is too slow. We will never get off this in time. Now, now, Marcy, you'll make it. Going down, miss. My beautiful warhead, wasted on empty space. All right, Derange, we... We are too late. You bond, you have embarrassed me one time too many. But we will meet again. And the next time, I will make you pay for your impudence. Don't you just hate reruns? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This was quite an adventure, don't you think? I suppose so. I will release your friends too sweet, Monsieur Bond. Uh, before he does, I want to say au revoir and thank you. Mm. James, we... James? Are you okay? Oh, the poor dear. Our being arrested must have really shaken him. Offhand, I'd say he looks not shaken, but stirred. <laughs> All right, come on now, keep up the pace, we're almost there. Well, Mr. Bond, you don't look tired at all. I feel like I've only just begun, Mr. Mitchell. 
Mr. Bond, I'd like a moment. I want to let you know that with the nuclear threat over, our trip to Paris is back on. Excellent, sir. And I expect you to keep out of trouble, Mr. Bond. Try to learn a bit about art and go and see the Eiffel Tower. I shall, sir. I understand it's a real blast.